Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Sarah Wisted. Today, we are going to be talking about paint colors and more specifically, the paint colors that I've used throughout my house. I do get these questions quite often and I have done a few videos on this on like Instagram and TikTok, but I've never done one for YouTube, surprisingly enough. So I figured I would create a little overview video of the paint colors that we've chosen for our home, the different sheens that we chose, and then just other preferences that we have throughout the house. Okay, so let's get started. The first main paint color that we have throughout the house is of course the white that you see pretty much in everything that I do. And the white that we have chosen for our home is Sherwin-Williams Alabaster. Those of you who've picked a white paint for your home or just like any project that you have, know how excruciatingly hard it is to pick a white. There are so many different whites out there and there are so many different undertones that you can um, play with and just a lot of options, I guess. And I did a ton of research when we moved into this house about, I think it was like three years ago by now. It was like 2020 with the start of the pandemic we moved in. So it's about three years now. And I did a bunch of research. At our old house, we went with a more like brighter, crisp, um, clean white, which was, we had used Benjamin Moore Chantilly Lace, which I do like that color, but I had noticed myself kind of gravitating to more of like a softer white, a more lived in type of white. And I will also say choosing a white paint, you really do have to paint it in your own home. I feel like whites just show up so differently in different spaces with different lighting. So you really have to decide like just because the Sherwin-Williams Alabaster looks good in my home doesn't necessarily mean it will look great in your home. So you kind of have to like play with the different undertones and like the different lighting that you get within your area. But for me, I have fallen fully in love with Sherwin-Williams Alabaster. If you have a bright, like a bright lit space that gets a lot of natural sunlight like we do in my dining room here, I swear it just, the white just comes out in such a beautiful way, in such a soft way. So it's not super stark, it's not super crisp. It's more of just like a calm kind of like lived in type of white is how i view it <laughs> now i do have a few tips in painting a white throughout your home and the first one that i had found just based on what i did at my previous house is i would choose one white and this is my preference there's no right or wrong so please don't take this as like you know the word but we prefer to have one white throughout the house and the reason being is in our old house we did have two different whites we had more of like a cool tone white and then of course the stark white that i mentioned which was chantilly lace and what we had noticed is when those whites bumped up against each other they looked different so like the the cooler tone white that we had looked more of like a blue and then the chantilly lace looked more of like the the true white and i think it just like I don't know, just kind of messes with, for me, somebody who's very detail oriented in terms of like decor and aesthetic and all that, it was really, really bothering me. So if that's something that affects you as well, I would choose just one white throughout your house. <laughs> and what I mean by that is we, ch we painted both the trim and the walls the same color. And we actually did that throughout regardless. Like I'll share the other color that we used in our den, which is a little bit darker of a color. It's not quite dark, but we did, paint the walls and the trim the exact same color, the doors the exact same color. So if you were to look at my wall next to the trim, next to a door, it's all one white and it just makes me so happy. <laughs> it feels very calming when everything is just kind of like blended in together. That's just kind of how I view things and how I really like things to look. But it is definitely a preference, so you can do whatever it is that you want with your whites. I just think the the tone on tone look is very much something that I like and that I'm drawn to. Just like a side note on that, we did not paint our ceilings. Um, we painted pretty much everything else but our ceilings. We didn't want to take that project on in addition since they were already white. So I'm assuming they're standard ceiling white, just probably builder's grade because I imagine they didn't do anything crazy up there. So standard ceiling white. The next color that you'll see throughout our home is Sherwin Lamb's Tricorn Black. We use this black pretty much everywhere. Again, being very type A and somebody who researches a lot, um, I actually found this in my previous home. We started using Tricorn Black in my previous home, but I really wanted a black that was sharp, but didn't really have many undertones. Like sometimes if it's a really sharp black, you'll see like a bluish undertone. Um, which can look really cool, but for me, I kind of wanted it to be more of like a neutral undertone type situation. So we did go with Tricorn Black. It is a very popular black, but it's for good reason because it really does go with a lot of different 
aesthetics and a lot of different colors and it just looks good in my opinion <laughs> so we did paint our front door tricorn black we painted our dining room table that i'm sitting at now it is tricorn black um, we did refinish this dining table so we painted it the tricorn black and then sealed it with a matte poly so it was like a matte finish um what else did we paint tricorn black we painted both of our fireplaces we like the one in the den like the informal living room we painted the whole surround including the tiles that's all tricorn black and then in our formal living room we just painted the tiles tricorn black so what makes me really happy it makes my heart really happy is that all the blacks throughout the home like the black paints that you see it's all one color so it kind of feels consistent throughout the house the last color that we have used throughout our home that we chose to paint um, in our den we didn't want to just continue the white throughout the house we wanted to do something a little different granted it is a still like a good neutral base so that we can change the decor in there as we wish but we did go with more of like a gray toned paint and the paint that we decided to go with in there is called Benjamin Moore Dorian Gray. Now for me, as I've gotten older, and maybe it's just the times, it might change later down the, light, down the road, but currently I'm kind of leaning towards like a warm tone aesthetic. I really like tans, I really like beiges. There's something about a warm tone that just feels really comforting and lived in for me. And so when I was choosing a gray, I was a little bit conflicted because I didn't want it to have the cool undertone because I was bringing in so many warm tones everywhere else. I didn't want it to feel like it didn't go together. But when I was doing research, I had found that Dorian Gray is a more neutral gray, which again, I know it sounds crazy, this is so detailed, but it is the more neutral gray. It does pair well with both warm tones and cool tones, which really spoke to me because I thought maybe if I did change my mind down the line and I liked a cool tone, it would be fine to switch out everything and put a cool tone in. Okay, so back to the tips. I already mentioned one of them, but my first tip when it comes to, to paints is to choose one white to use throughout your house. It helps prevent one of the whites if you have more the if you have two or more for example it prevents the whites from not looking white unless that's what you're going for of course there are no rules you can do whatever you want but my preference is to do one white throughout the house my next tip if you really like more of like a minimal modern look is to paint your doors your trim your walls all the same color but i did use different sheens so this is kind of where it gets a little bit more detailed, if you will. I really like the look of matte paint, but I have just heard from a few people that matte paint is a little bit harder to clean than eggshell. So what we have decided is on our walls, we use pretty much eggshell or satin, depending on what paint you're ordering. Um, it's the same thing, eggshell, well, similar. Eggshell and satin are a little bit easier to clean and can hold up a little bit better to wear and tear. And obviously we, we have a baby, we have a toddler, and we plan to have more. So I just wanted it to be a little bit easier to clean, which by the way, side note, she is in the phase where she's trying to get away with drawing on the walls and she has been using her crayons on the walls and on um, like the trim and stuff. And it's been easy to clean with the white, one of those magic erasers, but that was like what I had hoped for is I didn't want to have walls that were super hard to clean because then it would be like just such a pain, you know, when you have kids and all that. So, and then the sheen that we put on the trim and like all the baseboards and the doors and the shutters that we have throughout the house, we've also painted all of our shutters the same colors as the wall color. So it all blends in perfectly and beautiful. Um, even though I will say I'm not a huge shutter fan, so the reason we painted them is because they were already there and they were great window coverings, but I do hope to replace those someday soon. So that's just a side note about my shutters. But yeah, so trim, doors, shutters, crown molding, all of it is the same color, but it's a different sheen. We use semi-gloss for that. And we also use semi-gloss for the table. But like I said, we did seal it with a matte poly so it wasn't super, super shiny because I'm not a huge fan of very shiny, but I did, I know semi-gloss is really great for like nicks and bumps and I feel like doors and especially like baseboards and all that just get really scratched up really easily. And so that's why we chose it for that. But yeah, that's essentially it. It's a quick video, but I just wanted to share with you guys because it's probably one of my most asked questions and I don't know why I haven't done a YouTube video on it. So there you go. If you like this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. And I'm sure I'll talk to you guys on my next video.